Welcome back YouTube. Today we're going to work on the traction engine making the boiler safety valve. I'm going to use a piece of uh, 3 8 hex which will fit nicely in there. I haven't got a lot of space. There is a dummy steam dome which goes over this whole part. Um, so the height wise is okay but just on the diameter. This could really do it being half inch but I think we can get away with that. Uh, I'm going to change the design slightly from the drawings, which I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to have to move the hex up because we've got to be able to get access to it. So once it's down there, we normally turn away this section, you're, you're not going to see it. So that's one modification I'll do to the body of the safety valve. This is the drawing I'm going to be working to. This design is by Gordon Smith. Look him up on the internet, if you search Gordon Smith safety valve, there's plenty of information about these. Uh, he spent a lot of time developing these type of safety valves for model work. Uh, and this is the closest one I can sort of work to for the scale. This is where the hex is, so I'm actually going to be shifting this hex up to probably about the midpoint here. And I'll turn that part plane. So the outside we can I'm going to change, but the inside, the internal di dimensions are all going to stay the same. Body I'm going to make first by threading this section and plain turn that. Then I'm going to actually turn the whole part around, hold it on the thread in a in a threaded fixture. So then we can uh, drill, bore thread, and drill and ream this. So all these internal features are. All all going to run concentrically uh, then just turn the OD to whatever looks nice uh, this part's going to be a little bit interesting it's quite small that's a 3 16th diameter there down to about uh, 1 16th 1.6 mil so it's all on the 5 mil uh, diameters this has got to be turned quite accurately reading the article um, he did it's it's quite interesting you have to get this right otherwise this will not seat properly and you always end up with a leaky safety valve so these this has to be quite well machined and polished and also this part here the whole center hole has to be nice and accurate for that um, also the ball is a 5 30 seconds ball this is a very thin wall less than half a mil I think it works out at um, so that's going to be the part I'm going to struggle with the most 